Hello and welcome to today's video on Agile versus Waterfall. In this video, we're going to first define Agile and its core principles. We'll define Waterfall methodologies and its phases. We'll discuss the difference between Agile and Waterfall. We'll talk about the benefits and pitfalls of Agile, and then we'll talk about the benefits and pitfalls of Waterfall. So let's go ahead and begin. So to begin, let's define Agile methodology. Agile methodology is a type of incremental model of software development that's based on principles that focus more on people, results, collaboration, and flexible responses to change. Instead of planning for the whole project, it breaks down development work in small increments completed in iterations or short timeframes. Each iteration includes all software development lifecycle phases, such as a working product that's delivered at the end. After several iterations, a new and updated product is released. So the core principles of Agile. With this team and time sensitive approach, there are several core principles that an Agile development project will follow. Adaptability. The Agile development highlights the importance of being able to change design, architecture, requirements, and deliverables along the way. Customer involvement. Because of the constant change in design and deliverable units, Agile software development requires close collaboration between the customer and the development team. Lean development. Agile development values making the end product as simple as possible. So if the end product can be result and achieved in two steps instead of five, the Agile development will design the software accordingly. Teamwork. As I've mentioned, Agile values teamwork above everything else. Teams must continually assess how they become more effective and adjust the Agile project as they go. Extreme programming, which lives up to its name, insists that developers work in pairs on the principle that two heads are better than one. Time. Agile development takes a very different approach to time during projects, breaking the project into very small units of time, and these are called time-boxed sprints. Sustainability. Instead of pushing for faster deadlines in exchange for an unfinished project, or yes, Agile development places value on setting a sustainable pace for software development. And testing, unlike waterfall approaches where there is a distinct testing phase, Agile approaches insist on testing through every phase of the project. Now let's talk about the waterfall methodology. Waterfall methodology is a traditional model of developing engineering systems, and it's originally based on manufacturing and construction industry projects. When applied to software development, specialized tasks completed in one phase needs to be reviewed and then verified before moving on to the next phase. It's a linear and sequential approach where phases flow downward like a waterfall to the next phase. The waterfall approach to software development is highly sequential and can be broken down into several distinct phases. There is a set of lines of phases, each following the other, that needs to be completed one by one. Phase two cannot be started until step one is completed. So the phases of the waterfall methodology are first conception, the idea stage where the developers decide what they want to design and why, then initiation and analysis, this stage involves gathering and documenting what the software development project will require, which includes the system and the software requirements for the product or project. Design. In this stage, developers determine how they want their piece of software to work and determine which pieces are necessary to code. Construction and coding. This stage involves coding each unit of the software and testing it along the way, as well as integrating units according to the software architecture from the design phase. Testing. This involves testing the software system-wide. It may include user testing, bug testing, and going back through other fixes and any specific issues. And then implementation. In many cases, this means delivering the finished product to the customer or rolling the system out um, to a production environment. So now that we talked about Agile and Waterfall, let's look at the differences between them. Both methodologies can help a development team produce high quality software. But depending on specific project requirements, knowing the difference between Agile and Waterfall can better equip a team to choose the right process and methods in delivering a successful software project. Some of the distinct differences are Agile is an incremental and iterative approach, while Waterfall is a linear and sequential approach. Agile separates a project into sprints and Waterfall divides a project into phases. Agile helps complete many small projects. Waterfall helps complete one single project. Agile introduces a product mindset with a focus of customer satisfaction, and Waterfall introduces a project mindset with a focus on successful project delivery. Requirements are required every day in Agile, while requirements are prepared once at the start of Waterfall. 
Agile allows requirement changes at any time, and Waterfall avoids scope changes once the project starts. Testing is performed concurrently with development in Agile, and the testing phase comes only after the build phase in Waterfall. Test teams in Agile can take part of the requirements changes, and test teams in Waterfall do not get involved in requirement changes. And Agile enables the entire team to manage the project without a dedicated project manager, while Waterfall requires a project manager who plays an essential role in every phase. So looking at this in a more comparative chart type of format, um, we have a couple of slides here to go over in the comparison. So in Agile, it separates the project development lifecycle into sprints, while Waterfall is divided into phases. Agile is an incremental approach, and Waterfall is a sequential design. Agile is known for its flexibility, while Waterfall is very structured. Agile can be considered a collection of many different projects, while in Waterfall, it's just one single project. And Agile is quite flexible method, which allows changes to be made even if the initial planning has been completed, and in Waterfall, there's no scope of changes. The requirements are done once the project development starts. In Agile, it follows an iterative develop approach because the planning, developing, prototyping, and other software development phases may appear more than once. But in Waterfall, all of those phases happen only once in the model. In Agile, the test plan is reviewed after each sprint, while in Waterfall, they're discussed during the test phase. In Agile, the development is a process in which the requirements are expected to change and evolve, but in Waterfall, the idea of the project is to have a definite requirement and changes are not at all expected. In Agile, testing is performed concurrently with software development, while in Waterfall, it's only done during the testing phase. And in Agile, it introduces the product mindset where the software product satisfies the needs of the customer, and in Waterfall, the project mindset places the focus completely on the accomplishment of the project. In Agile, it works exceptionally well with time and materials and non-fixed funding. It may increase the stress in fixed price scenarios, but in Waterfall, it reduces the risk of the firm's fixed price contracts by getting risk agreements at the beginning of the process. In Agile, it prefers small, dedicated teams to a high degree of coordination. And in Waterfall, the team is coordinated, it's, the synchronization is very limited. In Agile, product owners with teams prepare requirements just about every day. And in Waterfall, the requirements are done at the beginning of the project. In Agile, the test teams can take part in the requirements change without a problem. And in Waterfall, it's difficult for the, to test the initi to initiate any changes for the requirements. In Agile, the description of the project details can be altered at any time during the software development lifecycle. But in Waterfall, they need to implement the Waterfall software development approach. In Agile, the team members are interchangeable, and as a result, they work faster. But in Waterfall, the process is always straightforward, so the project manager plays an essential role during each stage of the software development lifecycle. So let's talk about the benefits of Agile now. Some of the known benefits of the Agile methodology is faster software development lifecycle, predictable schedule and sprints, customer focus results in increased customer satisfaction, flexible in accepting changes, it empowers the team to manage the projects, it promotes efficient communications, and it's ideal for projects with non-fixed funding. So Agile does have some pitfalls. Um, Agile requires a high degree of customer involvement, which not all customers are comfortable with or prefer to give. Uh, Agile assumes that every team member is completely dedicated to project, without which weakens the principle of self-management. Uh, team box iteration may not be enough to accommodate all deliverables, which will require changes in priority and additional sprints that could be, bring up costs. And Agile recommends co-location for efficient communication, which is not always possible. So let's now look at the benefits of Waterfall. Straightforward planning and designing due to the agreement on deliverables at the start of the project. Better design with the whole system approach. Defined scope of work. Easier costing clear measure, measurements of progress, defined team roles, and dedicated resources can work in parallel of their specific tasks. Now, just like Agile, Waterfall has pitfalls too. Newer development methodologies were created because of the known disadvantages of Waterfall, which include a rigid structure to allow necessary changes, no allowance for uncertainty, limited customer engagement resulting in poor satisfaction, sequential approach is not ideal for large size projects where the end result is too far in the future, and testing is done only in the latter phases of the project. I hope you enjoyed this video on Agile versus Waterfall. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button. And if you want to see more videos on project management and Agile and Waterfall and different methodologies, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I up 
I upload a couple of videos every single week. Thank you.